So we're going to try put this rug on him. We're going to put the rug on him for the first time today. And it's going to look a bit messy, because first of all, we've got to keep the rug small at first when we're rubbing it over him. And we've got to manage him. So it's quite a hard situation. So from what I've been doing with him this week, I know sort of how he's going to possibly act, all right? Because I've played games with him and stuff like that. So there he's pushing into me. He's pushing into it. And I've obviously taught him, if he's scared, to look at something and explore it, and then he goes away. So there you go. He looked at it, he goes away. So that's pressure on, rub, 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 goes away. Basically. So he's not running away. Okay, I can sort of put it around him. He's getting a bit of noise. He's getting a bit of touch. Right, he's trying to bite it there. So let's change sides. Put him over there a little bit. Good boy. Well, there's a head being cut over there as well. So, like I say, it's going to look messy because I've got to keep this bounded up and control and train him. So here's a clear one. He doesn't want me on that side. Clearly saying to me, I don't want you on that side. Okay, mate, it's okay. So we're just going to come in with the hand and rub him. So I don't really want it on the side. So straight away his attention's gone over there. He's looking outside the arena, probably somewhere to escape. So this side is a different. And also, the person that's cutting the hedge is on that side. The noise is coming from that side. So again, I don't want him pushing into me, so I'm blocking him. If he evades, I'm just going to keep it on him. Okay, looked at it, good. It goes away. And now we're just going to make it a little bit bigger, and we're going to see. Because what you've got to watch here is when you pop it over, and it goes on the other side. So I'm going to throw it over him, and it goes on the other side. It touches him on the other side. You've got to be very careful that he doesn't run through you. That's why it's important to have that bend and control that hind to work for you. Good boy. So that's over him. He wants to look at it. Good, but we don't want him biting it. Now I'm going to pull it off him so he feels that. There we go. Good boy. I'm going to rub him. Well done. Good boy. No, no. Good boy. So again, there is a lot of things going on in the hedge at the moment, which is not ideal. So again, I'm going to rub it, throw it over. That wasn't too bad, actually. So now I'm going to take it over his butt like we would take it off. Lovely. Looked at it. Good boy. Good. So let's just let me on that side, mate. So do it again. Throw it over. Things are going to hit him. And again, this is actually really good work for my saddle because the cinch is possibly going to hit him. The fender's going to hit him. So this is really good, and then it can it come off? Because usually that's the problem. When it goes on and you, it, it comes off them. So again, he's pushing on me, get out my spice. I don't mind him being aware of whatever's going on over there, as long as he's still in the room with us. So there we go, it's going over his butt. Good boy. So that hit him a little bit and he jumped a bit that's all right good boy now I'm going to just get him to follow it a bit come on then let's have a look good boy build his confidence with it good lad but I don't particularly want him biting it or anything so I'm very aware that something's going on there so what I might do is put him sideways so that all the pressure is on the right side good good boy there you go mate well that'll do okay because there's a lot of banging going on there. So I don't want banging left and me doing this to the right. He can have all the pressure on his right side. So we've opened it up a lot more now. Let's see what he does. Good boy. So he's pushing into me a little bit there. We do really do deal with not a windy time right now. Good. So that's pretty much on him. Again, I'm going to be bolt and braces. I'm going to just reward him for that. The wind's coming up. Don't really want it activating this rug. So I'm just going to pull it off, see what happens. Good boy. Good boy. Rub him a bit. Right, out my space a bit, because you're just coming into me a bit more. That's it, good boy. Good man. Good boy. That was very nice. Hmm. 
Okay, okay. Good. So here we go. His attention, he has come on to me. Good. So, there we go. And there's the rug all on him. So then we can start doing straps up if we need to. We don't want him biting it, but we also do not want the wind to get hold of it. So I'll tell you another thing that he's got to get used to is the Velcro. So there we go. It's on him. Let's take it off one more time, like from the back end. Don't come into me. Good boy, I love that. So I just put my hand up to block him, he moved away from me. Because I, and that's why in doing stuff like this, it's so important that you've got the respect of them not coming into your space. Because if he got scared, he could just run that shoulder straight into me. And obviously he's a lot bigger than me. He can flatten me easily. So I want that respect of him. And um, obviously I've spent this week building, building, getting respect of him, building his trust so that he will accept things like this. Because if I'd have done this on the fourth, first day, it could have gone horrifically wrong. And this just shows you even just a week what a nice horse this is of he's had to put up with quite a lot. He's left his home and he's never left home before. Um, he's been saddled, he's started training and he's accepting all this stuff. He's licking his lips now, lovely. Ah, ah, out my spice a bit, out my spice, out my spice, good boy. So that's nice, good boy. So let's just have a look at that Velcro. So again, he doesn't like funny noises just because he does not, he's not had them, been around them. So there we go, that was nice and easy. I'd rather do it from the ground than get him used to it. And look, he's well into that. So what is it? Let's have a look. Good, that's a good response, I like that. Because what I didn't want to do again is to do that and it's on him, he's holding tension building tension, holding it, and then you do that, and that could just be the end of your kettle boiling. Pop, he jumps in the air, gust of wind comes, then you've literally mortified your horse and put a traumatic situation on him, especially with this unpredictable wind that's going on. Good boy, I like that, well done. That was really good. So even just doing stuff like this, I'm building his trust on every ch -ch -ch everyday things. Um, like, this is gonna be helping me from a saddle for building no, and I don't want him biting because we don't want him clamping down with his mouth and scaring himself. Good, good boy, good boy. So again, there's a funny noise that it makes. Good, you handled that. Well, you come and had a look. Yes, well done. So we'll take it off. I'm pretty reactive with that. I'm going to give him a break for that. That's good. So again, pressure off. He's coming up into space. He's just trying to face the stuff. That's all. So let's push him out of our space a bit. Good laddie. Come here. Good boy. That was really good. Well done. Let's rub him. Rub him over where everything's been. Rub it away. Just tell him it's a good boy. Well done. That's exactly what I wanted. And because you did so well, guess what? You get complete freedom and pressure and you can go and nibble on the grass. Come on then. Go away. Good boy. 